In this short video, I will guide you through the proper troubleshooting procedure for a faulty contactor on the residential air conditioning simulator. Let's begin by clicking the start button on the phone. Next, we need to proceed to the thermostat. Click on the thermostat icon here at the bottom left of the page. Once at the thermostat, turn the selector switch to the cool position. This will also turn down the temperature setting of the thermostat. If we exit out of this view, we want to walk back inside the house briefly and take a look at if there's any air coming out of the registers. And as we can see, we do in fact have airflow out of the registers. However, the air is warm, indicated by the red graphic. This verifies that the indoor fan motor or indoor blower motor is operational. We can also hear the indoor blower motor operating. For an additional check, remove the side cover, which will allow you to observe the graphic on the side of the indoor fan motor, indicating that it is in fact running. Next, we're going to proceed to the outdoor unit by clicking the outdoor unit icon at the bottom of the page. At the outdoor unit, we can see that neither the condenser fan nor the compressor is operational. You should see the condenser fan turning as well as air coming out of it. You should also hear the operation of the compressor. Prior to making any checks, let's start by reviewing the wiring diagram for the unit. We can color code the diagram if needed by clicking on this button right here on the left. If we zoom in a bit, we can see that the, both the outdoor fan motor or condenser fan motor and the compressor are operated by these two sets of contacts in the contactor. I'll zoom in just a bit further on that so you can see those. This more than likely indicates that we either have a main line voltage problem here in the outdoor unit or possibly the contacts are not pulling in due to a low voltage problem. For the time being, we're going to store the diagram back away and we're going to take a look at the troubleshooting flow chart. Click on the top left tab to open the troubleshooting flow chart and just simply follow down. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit to begin with and as we move up, we can see that yes, the indoor fan is running. So we're going to proceed over this way. Is the outdoor fan running? No. So if we follow this down, our next question is, is the compressor running? No, it's not running. We verified that. Our next step is to measure for 24 volts at the contactor coil connections. Prior to doing that, I'm going to go back to the electrical diagram. Again, if we look at the electrical diagram, we can see the contacts here. If we look at the indoor unit, we can see the contactor coil, which is located right here at the bottom of the diagram, indicated by the C within the circle. And we can see that it's powered out of the thermostat terminal Y. In other words, 24 volts comes out of the terminal Y on the thermostat when it calls for cooling. This 24 volts is picked up by the contactor coil, which creates a magnetic field, which closes the two sets of contactor contacts, turning on the compressor and condenser fan. This obviously is not occurring. So our next step is to go inside the outdoor unit control panel, click on the door to open it, and we're going to remove the digital volt ohm meter from the toolbox. You may want to zoom in a bit on the contactor. It makes placing your leads a little bit easier. Turn the selector dial on the AC voltmeter to AC volts. Next, pick up the leads and place them at the line side of the contactor. Here we just want to verify that 240 volts is coming to the contactor contacts from the outdoor disconnect. And in fact, we do have 240 here. However, if we move the leads to the load side of the contactor, which is providing the 240 to the compressor and condenser fan, we can see that we have no voltage present. This indicates that the contactor contacts are in fact open and has really narrowed our focus down to the thermostat or the contactor coil. Our next step is to measure for 24 volts at the contactor coil connections. This is indicated by the yellow and blue wires on the side of the contactor. You can also refer to the wiring diagram 
for the color codes here. And as we can see, we've got a yellow and blue wire on either side of the contactor shown on the diagram. Place one of each of the leads on the coil connections, one here at the blue wire and one here at the yellow wire. We can see that the contactor coil is in fact receiving 24 volts from the thermostat. This eliminates the thermostat as a possible cause of the problem and verifies that in fact the contactor is faulty. We have 24 volts to the coil, but the contacts are not closing. Replace the meter back in the toolbox. Click on the contactor and click replace. It states this repair is going to cost $190 and we're confident we've got the right answer here so we will proceed. And as we can see this corrects the problem. Don't forget to make some brief amperage checks once you've restarted the unit. Close the cover, replace all caps and covers, and have fun. Good luck.